Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at a short series called Suryu to Majiro Shikuruko no Yoro Ni. So, I have no English name for that, and I think I butchered that terribly. I apologize in advance if I did, but that's a very interesting title. Uh, this story focuses on interesting concepts. People have been calling it Saitama and Love, essentially, because of the fact that the guy is... Like, well, I'll explain it a little bit. You'll probably see it. If you haven't seen it already, you'll understand. But we have our main character, Mio, over here, who is in love. She has always been in love with this one named, this one dude called Kujo. Who, Kujo seems to be a, a guy who's, like, everyone's dream dude. Like, you know, he's, he's really helpful. People like him. You know, people are all around him all the time. She's been following him even into bars because of the fact that he's just so popular. I mean, uh, she goes into, like, a flashback sequence where she remembers him when they were together in school at one time where he helped her out. But see, Kujo had something happen after high school because this is way past high school. He went bald. So he became Saitama. Um, <laughs> and what's interesting about this is that you know, Mio is so kind of, I don't want to say depressed by this, but she's almost like heartbroken by, I guess, the fact that he's now bald for some reason. I don't know why she's upset about that. I mean, it's still the same dude, right? But yeah, so for the most part, apparently though, the thing is, is that he's not just bald. He became a priest, so he has a shaved head. But So he let his hair basically fall out somehow. I don't know how that works, but apparently if you become a priest, you lose your hair. Uh, I know you're supposed to shave your hair. Or at least cut it very short in, in Japan if you become a priest. But I don't think you go bald, per se. But whatever. Um, but the whole thing is a very mature story. Because when Miu gets very drunk, he brings her back to her apartment. And ends up making out with her. Taking advantage of the fact that she's drunk. So, yeah. That's interesting. Um, this episode is only four minutes long. I think the whole show is 12 episodes and each one's only four minutes, I think. So, don't expect a lot of content. And... I'll tell you right now, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this show. I don't know if I want to review it or not. So I would love to hear from you guys. Do you want me to review this? I mean, I think it's kind of interesting. I'm not going to say it's anything bad yet. It's very mature, and I kind of dig that. But we'll see what happens with the next episode, I guess. Anyways, guys and girls, I know I'm a day late with it, but I figured I'd get it out to you guys to see if you guys want me to review this. And I was recommended this by Tribo. He told me to watch this, so thanks a lot, Tribo. I appreciate it. I think it was kind of a weird recommendation for me to watch, but I think that's you, you realize it was kind of weird. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.